News Channel 5 is covering this story from every angle. And we begin our team coverage with Marissa Back. She has the latest on the investigation. There's been no explanation why four Glades Central High School football players were escorted off the practice field Thursday night. They are the same four players accused of sexually assaulting a female student last month, according to our news partners at the Palm Beach Post. ESPN 760 captured this exclusive video last night, right in the middle of practice. School district police are heading the investigation. This is the statement spokesman Nat Harrington released today. District officials are aware of an allegation involving students at Glades Central, and we are thoroughly investigating the situation. We are not able to comment on any student information or on any investigation until the investigation is closed. The four boys and the girl involved are all minors. Each was suspended from school, but no charges have been filed. I would be very surprised if charges were not filed in this case against these four boys. Uh, given the victim's age, given their sheer number of uh, four versus one, certainly the presumption is that there may have been some coercion. News Channel 5 illegal analyst Michelle Suskauer says the law states any kind of sex involving a minor is a crime, even if there was consent. She says the alleged incident took place on school grounds. Certainly, there's going to be some issues uh, as to what the supervision was, and we may see a civil suit down the road in terms of a negligent supervision claim. The school isn't saying why the players were pulled from practice. However, school policy states that suspended students are not allowed to play school sports. So when the team takes the field tonight, we will most likely know if being escorted off the field last night led to any suspensions. In the newsroom, Marissa Bagg, WPTV News Channel 5. From the football field to the classroom, news of the alleged assault has rocked the entire community. This at a time when so many residents in that area are dealing with high joblessness and ongoing crime issues. Given all that, the success of the Glades Central football team has long been a source of ongoing community pride. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran joins us live with more on how students and the community at large is reacting to these allegations. Dan? Well, the community here is gathering here at Raiders Field. They are they are, say they are ready for kickoff at seven o'clock, no matter who or who is not on that field later tonight in just about one hour. The investigation into allegations against those players was the big topic when the school day ended here today. Not all the students we spoke with were on the same page about what may have happened between those four football players and a female student here on school grounds. Most of them feel the focus right now should be on tonight's high stakes football game and that they're skeptical about these apparent allegations. All of this bad publicity, all of this putting this stuff on, on, on the newspapers, putting them on TV, I wanted it all stop. What's most important? Uh, winning the game and be positive. And we did talk to a school official off camera today who wants to reiterate that no charges have been filed and this investigation is, of course, in its very early stages. Now, the parking lots, the ticket booths, they're actually filling up. There's a long line here getting ready for tonight's game. Certainly on the minds of many of the fans here will be more than just what's happening on the football field. Reporting live in Belgrade tonight, Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5. At this hour, fans have started to file into the Belglade High School Stadium, football stadium, to see the big showdown against Miami New Orleans. With three senior players and one junior missing, what could it mean for tonight's game? ESPN 760 Joe Gervin continues our team coverage with a look at the Raiders' chances to make it to the state championships. The Raiders are just three wins away from a state championship, but tonight they'll be without two defensive stars. In fact, two of the better defensive players in all of Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. And Glade Central will face the number one team in Class 5A. Miami Norland is outstanding, an offensive juggernaut featuring big-time running back and future Miami Hurricane Duke Johnson. You see some video here of Glade Central against Merritt Island, a shutout win. In fact, the Raiders have shut out their last three opponents, and five of the last seven teams they faced have left the field 
without a single point. Even without these four players tonight, including those two defensive stars, Glade Central is still good. The question is, are the Raiders good enough to win a state championship? We'll start to find out here in about 90 minutes. For now, reporting live in Belle Glade, I'm Joe Gervin for ESPN 760 on WPTV News Channel 5. And you can count on News Channel 5 to stay on top of this story as it continues to develop. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll be back live out in Belle Glade with more on the investigation and reaction from students, fans, and the community. Plus, we'll have coverage and highlights of the showdown itself from ESPN 760 Sports. And for news updates anytime, head to our website, WPTV.com.